Your subconscious mind knows exactly how to conjure up the images without you having to visually see them. Peace, beautiful family. This is Danielle and you're watching Fly Girls Manifesting. Today we are going to be talking about three different ways that you can manifest anything you desire. And you do not have to know how to visualize. Some people can't even see images in their head. And to be quite honest, most of my manifestations that have came to me in the way that I desire quickly, easily, effortlessly have not been necessarily from visualizing. So if you're interested in three different ways that you can manifest without visualizing, stay tuned. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I want to know what you guys think about the content. Let's get into the first way that you can manifest without visualizing. Well, first and foremost, Neville talks about a story where he had someone come to him and they basically didn't believe in visualizing and didn't understand how it works. And he basically told the young lady, okay, so imagine a conversation. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is a telephone technique. This has worked miracles for me. I literally imagine myself calling my mother, someone's voice that is very familiar to you. Someone that you know that if you call them with great news about something that they would be excited for you. Or someone who would comfort you. Like a person that you trust, you admire, that loves and adores you, that is the person you wanna use the telephone technique with. And you speak in your normal voice as if you're on the telephone. So the way that my telephone conversation with my mother would go, let's say that I hit 10K subscribers. I would call my mother, and this is all going on in your mind, right? This is an imaginary hearing technique because we're talking about how to manifest without having to visualize. So I call my mother and say, oh my God, Ma, are you up? Are you sitting down? Can I tell you something? Oh my God, I cannot believe this. My channel just hit 10K subscribers. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Ma, go to my channel right now, go to my channel. And that's all. And all I hear is her voice saying, okay, babe, okay. And her like scurrying around, very short snippet that literally was under 10 seconds of me doing that. And you would do that in a state akin to sleep and rehearse that in your mind until it feels like it's real. That's, that's technique number one. I have manifested a lot of things doing that. Also, most of you guys know that I'm a big fan of subconscious um, audio MP3s. I do a lot of them for people. Um, some of my subscribers have had me do one hour loops of their own affirmations in their own voice. So your subconscious mind creates visual images even through words. You don't have to worry about visualizing to manifest. <laughs> You're always doing it. You're always manifesting. So there's not like some trick you have to do. Now, visualizing is very powerful. However, I have done really powerful things in my life not necessarily visualizing and I actually like to switch it up. So I listen to my MP3 um, affirmations on a specific thing that I like to manifest and I listen to that before I go to bed. Sometimes, most times, I listen to it as I'm falling asleep and I also affirm with my mental diet throughout the day with the same affirmations. So that's the second way that you can manifest without visualizing. Heighten emotions. So if you're angry, upset, those emotions are creating and manifesting as well. And they're creating mental images as well. They're bringing up subconscious things. So if you get into a high vibration of anything, like if you're highly angry or you're highly joyful, you're going to be able to manifest a lot quicker and the images subconsciously, they um, impress a lot faster. So heightened emotion impresses a lot faster. Let's do heightened emotion with joy, gratitude, jumping up and down, dancing like nobody's in the room. And I would dance up and down and then I would just like hear conversations with people in my head. 
of things that I were that I was affirming for. So that is definitely another technique. My last one for you. This is a bonus. Scripting. Script, script, script. If you are a person who hates writing, okay, I get it. So then just take a little um little card and just write down what it is that you desire to have and post it somewhere or put it under your pillow so that it's the first thing you see when you wake up in the morning. The last thing you see when you go to sleep and the first thing you see when you wake up in the morning. And there you have it. These are the ways that you can manifest without having to visualize. Actually, I prefer a lot of these ways a lot better than just sitting there trying to come up with images. Girl, don't do that. The telephone technique works the best. I'm gonna be honest with you. Also listening to your subconscious affirmations, your MP3s. And if anyone wants any, um, you know, any information about how I can build those for you, check out the description down below. I just have you record three or four affirmations and I put them on a one hour loop for you. And you just listen to that. And that is all you need to manifest without visualizing. Your subconscious mind knows exactly how to conjure up the images without you having to visually see them. So I hope this helps you. I appreciate every single one of you. Like, comment, please share. I need to hear from you guys. I love you dearly. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.